Okay, so we just made our... our scan, our watch list that we want to build. Alright, and we're going to take that and turn it into, you know, say a plot on our chart so we can see when it happens when we're looking at a stock so we can make that a study. So we'll take what we've built here and we're going to turn it from this little watch list that we have now. Let's go over here and get it going. You know, we just built it in the previous video. I even had to change some some things in it. Where, where, where did we hide that sucker at? Here we go. Okay. And we'll drop our list down. And remember, we've got... This is a weekly list. We're showing 39 stocks. Okay. Now... And we're scanning for them to have moved a certain percentage. So let's go over here to our chart. And let's start pulling some of them up. And, oh, there's that thermocycle. Boy, don't I see that. Isn't that pretty? Now, why didn't the old graphics card pull that out of the pocket before? Oh, man. Wow, look at that. Okay, so let's hit cancel. And let's, let's get it something it can do. Let's just get it to plot that for now. Okay, wow, look at this thermocycle. That is pretty, isn't it? I love it. Alright, now you can really see that action, okay? Um, you know, I like this because there are some other thermo indicators that uh, really help you. And let's, let's take it off of our thermo mode now. And... We'll get rid of it there, and we'll get rid of it there, and we'll hit OK here. We'll hit Apply. We'll hit OK. And we'll go down to another chart. Now, why is that happening? Oh, I remember. There was a the little button up top. OK, there we go. Hit OK. Hit Apply. Hit OK. All right. Now, what we scanned for was for the per you know, for the stock to be moving a certain percentage and for it to be heading above now this is on the weekly chart so we want to get out to the weekly say time frame so daily, day max you know, uh, you know weekly, year to date yeah, that's, that's not it okay Well, if it happened within one bar, then that would be correct. Yeah, it did happen. You know, uh, well, within you know one week, it went above. So maybe we are even catching that signal way too late. Okay. So we wanted to know when it went above thirty, and when it's had a move. Okay. Hmm. We're on a daily time frame here. Let's do time frame. Let's see. Can we get weekly? I'm sure we can if we... Oh. If we do a time frame for it, but... Alright. Let's see. But we are getting some very good signals. Okay. Okay. Mohawk Industries. Okay. Mosaic. Yeah, so maybe we want to know when it crosses above 50, or above 80, or 
Yeah. So we can change those things and put them into our scan. All right. So let's take our scan here that we've built and let's hit edit. And let's get down to the part where we said what we wanted and click on our pencil. Okay. And we'll go to the editor We'll copy this. I'm gonna cancel. Cancel. Come to your chart. And come over to your studies. You're gonna wanna create one. And really, all we need to do here is where it says close, we need to paste. And then above this, we need to declare lower. So it goes down to the lower scan. And then we can name this our shaft above 30 weekly say OK. And now it's right here. Now let's hit Apply. We'll hit OK. And now it will tell us when our shaft indicator is above 30. So let's get rid of the regular trend cycle. Or if not, here's what we'll do. We'll overlap the two. We'll hit Apply. Hit OK. Now we've got to follow the blue lines, but if we go for when it's over 30, and we're looking at Paycom right now, it does follow the shaft trend cycle very well. So our scan is accurate. You know, when this line goes up, it goes up. So overall, it's an accurate, you know, it's an accurate scan. It does work. You know, um, let's see what we have here in the rest of our, our list. You know, and it does cut out a little bit of, you know, uh, silly action, but it seems like you get in it just a little late, so. Union Pacific. Okay. And looking at it closely, you can see. See this? See the trend? Okay. So... I like looking at the regular trend cycle just for the fact you can read the waves. Work. Alright, so not quite time yet. Woo, Western Union. Okay. I see what it did. It did a little bounce and a hop and then went back up. Look for a pullback. next and ZBH and remember these were the 39 that we got on our scan for scanning the S&P 500 there are a thousand and you know 24 results for the overall stock market so you know that's you know how many were out there um, we just kept it down to a select few And it looks like it's having problems getting that data together. Um, oh, here we go. And see, now it seems to be catching it right here as it's starting to happen. All right, so this is the one that has caught it, you know, so and true, where it's above the 30 mark, okay? So we can tell that scan does work, okay? It does. It does, in fact, work. So ZBH, we might be looking for to have a little bit of a run, okay? It's starting to happen. Um, and it doesn't typically, go, well, let's see, when it comes up like that, typically we want an over up, not an under up, okay? 
under ups are just you know kind of still downward motion we want an over up okay so uh, over up is you know the move all right and under up um, not so much it's more of a, a whoop and then a blah. so not not exactly what we're looking for but okay here's an over up mm -hmm. And we maybe need to hone in and be a little bit more specific with our strategy um, to start catching things, say, back here or back here or even when they start to fall overall. Um, yeah, we can, we can do many different things. We can look at all kinds of different setups. But, you know, for the shaft indicator, and there's another one that I do want to make a video on, and this one is just called Trend Periods. And then there's a, a yeah, there's many other ones, but um, you know the Trend Periods is a good one. And I go in and I you know go through here and I look at all of the different indicators and I go through and I add them all and I use them. And then it seems like they do updates and new ones pop up in there. And then when I see them pop up, I've got to go in and, you know, I've got, I've got to try them out. So, okay, and now you've got trend periods, okay? So let's add our trend periods and we'll hit apply. And look at this. This is coming with Thinkorswim. And it is uncanny to this shaft trend indicator. And look at how we've designed our indicator above and how this trend periods indicator turns out, um, our indicator almost is a little better. So look at that. We've even built an indicator that's slightly better than something that's factory right out of the box. And I'm not saying that this couldn't be improved by going to a 9 and a 21 or a 21 and a 55, because it most certainly could, would, and will do very well. I, I definitely suggest you go in and do that yourself and see what the results you get. But the results you get from this are stiff. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's a beautiful run. So, you know, if you can learn to read these certain indicators or even add them all together um, for your overall confirmation, uh, I, I think you'll find... you'll find yourself making, you know, more money. But, that, I mean, uh, you know, this is all speculative. This is theoretical trading. I mean, I, I do have a live account. I do trade with real money, but... Um, I only take trades that I'm sure about. So, you know, and, and I really just like having access to the data. You know, it, it, it gives me something, um, something to look at. Yeah, and with that being said, you should subscribe. That way you can always get these new indicators when we can build them and help uh, each other, you know, make a little bit of money on the way. So... Yeah, I think the better way to do this is to place options, you know, where, where you know, where you believe, um, you know, your prices are going to land, um, you know, based on your indicators and your historical data. You know, I mean, there is no surefire way to say which way the market's going to go, but you can certainly, um, you know, look at it and keep up with it and have a very good idea. So, you know, overall. But that was a very, very neat scan. And we can even take this trend periods indicator and make something with it. And let's check out the code here. It has a fast length, a slow length, and then it uses the exponential average, close fast. Yeah, so it's using a you know an exponential you know average. Okay. I guess we could say that's possibly even a weighted you know average. But you could probably get some very, very good signals off of that. And look at these, you know, huge runners here. I mean, just look at that. That's beautiful. I mean, had you got in on that back in September, you know, when they were happening... So that shaft trend cycle is amazing. I think it's great for swing trading. I 
I believe that if you came in and used your shaft trend cycle um, on, you know, let's say a Renko setup on some Renko bars, you would really do well. You know, it tells you when the trend takes over. So, I mean, here we catch a good move here. You know, it catches, uh, you know, that down move here. It shows you the swoop and drop, like I spoke about. And then here's the, here's the rollover. You think it's an up move, but it's not. It's a squeeze down. And a little tricky, tricky action in this one. So, in the gap. The Gap, it says, Gap, Banana Republic, and Old Navy. I gotcha. Cool. So, that's it. It works. Alright, I'll catch you on the next, uh, you know, indicator that we get to build together.